Greetings from Mobility Outlook and welcome to Mobility Conversations. Our guest for today is Mr. Gopal Krishna Madhavosi, who is representing Veolia India WTS as Senior Vice President South Asia. Mr. Madhavosi, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So I would like to know a little bit about you know, Veolia, the uh, company, what does it do in general and a little bit more about the automotive industry. Sure. So Veolia Group is one of the uh, market leaders in the area of uh, water, waste and uh, energy management solutions. Uh, we are part of the water technology and solutions division mm -hmm. where we are focused on wastewater treatment and related solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, Veolia's mission is to uh, ecological transformation mm -hmm. which means uh, helping the world, helping the helping the industry, helping everybody on this earth, solution which can provide a transformative approach of uh, treating and uh, preserving the water and other products in, on this earth. So that is the big focus. Mm -hmm. In terms of automotive industry, uh, we have been uh, supporting with the right set of technologies. For example, uh, you know, many of the automotive industries requires uh, water treatment plants. Mm -hmm. We supply our products such as uh, MBR product which goes into majority of these uh, water treatment plants. Yeah. MBA meaning? Membrane bioreactor. Okay. So what we do is we basically provide the membranes within the bioreactor bio tanks where the bioreaction happens at an accelerated pace mm -hmm. and in the process we can able to treat the wastewater or any of the water of any kind. Okay. So you provide solutions uh, for water management and also you provide solutions for the waste recovery. So if you can throw a little more light on these two aspects of uh, your company. So we provide the services in not only treating the fresh water, that means you treat the water for various applications such as ultra pure water where the water quality required to be uh, you know, very high, very different or you treat the water for municipality requirement where the pollutants are there part of the water. That is one segment. Mm. The second segment is mm. the wastewater that is coming out of the industry. Mm. We treat that also so that mm. water can be recycled back okay. so that the wastages can be minimized. Okay. We are also into that industry. Our specialty is tough to treat. Mm. That means if the water that is coming out as effluent, which is very tough to treat, that is where our technology will come into picture where we can able to add significant value mm -hmm. to customers because our recycle number is going to be high. Mm -hmm. The amount of uh, water that we can extract from the wastewater is very high. That is our advantage. Yeah. So I understand uh, that about 4 lakh liters of water is required uh, to make, uh, to produce a vehicle right from the raw material uh, side till the vehicle is manufactured and then leaves the assembly line. It's astonishing. So what kind of solutions Veolia can provide for the vehicle manufacturers? The amount of water that is required in manufacturing segment is huge, right? And then the water is required at every stage, mm -hmm. starting from yeah. raw material processing, mm -hmm. components processing, assembly, mm -hmm. and as well as the painting and testing. And then eventually when the vehicle comes out, there are various stages where water is required to be supplied. Now this water that is coming in during the course of manufacturing, mm -hmm. majority of time can go waste. Mm -hmm. It can be an effluent that can be, you know, uh, mixed with the other water sources around the factory mm -hmm. or that will get treated and supplied. Different ways of that water will be used. Mm -hmm. Our technologies, our solutions step in where we can actually increase the reuse mm -hmm. so that you don't have to depend on this 4 lakh liters of water every time you manufacture a vehicle. Okay. Majority of the water can be reused. Mm -hmm. That way your dependency on the fresh water significantly comes down. Mm -hmm. I'll give an example. Okay. There is one of the, our customers, mm -hmm. a chemical fertilizer company based out of Mumbai, requires about 22.5 million liters of water every day. Right? Mm -hmm. Now this water is can be supplied as a fresh water from municipality. However, he choose to take 90% of the water, about 20 million liters of water mm. as a sewage treated water. Mm. And this water has been treated by our mm. technology mm. so that it will become 
in inlet water for them so that they can use it in their factory mm. and in turn mm. they can able to recycle the water that means the 90% of the water yeah. can be repurposed from a fresh water to a sewage treated water which in turn has helping more than 300000 families okay. in the neighborhood so definitely the automotive automotive industry which consumes a lot of water mm. has a huge opportunity of reusing and recycling the water by using the right technology Mm. so that their dependency on the fresh water can be brought up i understand you manage you know large quantities of water in the you know vehicle manufacturing space um, right from the product is made the components are made and uh, till it is the vehicle whole vehicle is getting painted uh, you have different kinds of solution for different uh, elements of the manufacturing yes so first thing is the treatment solution depends on the quality of the your input water and the quality of the water that is needed from the treatment solution so based on that you have various type of treatment solutions typically the water which is goes into the factory requires a simpler treatment okay okay but when the water coming out of the factory which we call effluent requires a lot more deeper treatment because they the effluent quality is very bad hence you need a better treatment mm. right now that treatment also has multiple stages in in a first stage where you treat the water and then use the water back to the uh, your input to your factory which is recycle part but also there is a some amount of water that cannot be used cannot be reused that cannot be let it to the neighborhood that has to be further treated that is where we provide zero liquid solutions zero liquid discharge solution so that that particular water which is high concentrated water can be further evaporated and treated so you have various type of treatment solution available based on the type of the water and the type of the treatment that you need our strength is that we can offer multiple type of high technology solutions based on the unique needs of the industry unique needs of the process uh, from the component manufacturing side you have lot many things like you know the sheet metal where they use you know hydrodynamic um, presses and forging castings uh, even no non metallic like plastics fibers etc so what kind of solutions that you provide because there are multiple elements in this right so typically if you look at ancillary industry and the component manufacturing industry the challenge is having a full treatment solution within their smaller footprint factory is going to be very expensive effort so the current practice is called cebt practice that is common effluent treatment plant where the industry located in a particular place the common treatment plant collects the effluent treats the water and supply the fresh water to the industry that is a practice fall is a very efficient and more productive practice okay. which can bring down the burden on smaller manufacturing and ancillary units okay. government and private bodies are setting up similar type of things we have seen many such examples in a state like gujarat that concept can be applied across the country where government can come forward or private parties can come forward set up a common effluent treatment plan mm. so that the effluent treated water can be collected effluent water can be collected from the smaller scale industries treat the water and supply the fresh water by which we can actually reduce the pollution significantly bring down the water requirement and the same time doesn't allow the effluent pollute in the environment well, from the uh, semiconductor manufacturing point of view in talked about much i think we are going to get a uh, fab manufacturing in the country uh, do you see opportunities uh, to support them absolutely absolutely we uh, you know we see that when you look at semiconductor industry fab man manufacturing industry electronics industry that requires a very very high quality high grade water we call ultra pure water mm. this water needs certain characteristics to meet certain requirements to meet normal water that we get do not meet those requirements mm. we have a technology solutions available where we have done hundreds of projects all over the world where we can able to supply consistently high quality ultra pure water in fact we have collaboration and tie up with all the global micro electronics and semiconductor industry manufacturing to supply such type of quality water 
we strongly believe that such solutions can be implemented in India with our global knowledge and global presence. Okay. So where exactly is this uh, ultra pure water is uh, you know, uh, used in fab manufacturing? So this water goes as a input water to the industry. Okay. So the various manufacturing steps that they follow in their factory, you need to have the water. But because these are all electronic components, you need to have high quality to make sure that there is no short circuit or any other rusting or anything should not happen because that will damage the expensive equipment and materials. Hence, you need ultra pure quality water. There are global standards that are set up and we are we meet or exceed those standards across the world and the same solutions can be offered here as well. Okay. When it comes to electric vehicles, I believe uh, even this is more complicated, much more complicated than the normal uh, internal combustion engine vehicles. How, what do you? What is your uh, view? And then, what kind of solutions you can provide for making electric vehicles? Yeah, sure. Again, electric vehicles also requires large quantity of water because of the various manufacturing steps that they go through. But besides that, there are certain special processes. For for example, if you take a battery making process mm -hmm. or associated processes which goes along with the battery, mm -hmm. where the waste water may contain certain important metals are important materials mm -hmm. such as cobalt or nickel or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Now in in untreated scenario, the water, the waste water which is going out of the factory contain these materials and which can go as a waste. Whereas we have a technologies where we can separate those materials which are very expensive can be can be reused, mm -hmm. can be used for their purposes. So there is a value mm -hmm. with our technology in that industry. That is one particular aspect of it. The second aspect of it is also that this industry is growing rapidly, right? They also have to um, manage the wastage of the used batteries, mm -hmm. right? How do you uh, manage the wastage of the reused battery? How do you dispose it? Mm -hmm. How do you manage that waste is a separate subject altogether? Mm -hmm. We can as well contribute in that segment as well as we have expertise globally doing that. What kind of uh, uh, equipment that you make uh, to support uh, these kinds of uh, requirements? So we uh, make various types of membrane uh, elements mm. which are of different types. Mm -hmm. um, again, the materials are different and uh, the, the combinations are different, the configurations are different. Uh, we have factories globally, including in India. Mm -hmm. In India, we have uh, uh, three factories. One of the factories is in Hoskote near Bangalore where we make reverse osmosis rolled membranes, we call RO rolled membranes. Mm -hmm. Those membranes are actually, a lot of them are used for uh, several projects in India. This is a Make in India factory, mm -hmm. exclusively meant for India and now we are also exporting from this factory to other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Also, we also import few other membranes from other parts of the world, okay. like for example in Hungary, in Europe are in some places in US or Canada. Mm -hmm. Based on the market demand, based on the um, you know demand requirement, some of these membranes can be even made in India. To what extent uh, uh, the membranes are imported I mean, in terms of percentage of your consumption in India? Uh, what percentage? I would say about 50 percentage today are imported, 50 percentage made in India okay. as far as the membranes are concerned. And other equipment like ZLD and other equipment, most of them are we make in India. Mm -hmm. We don't have to rely on um, external or other countries. Okay, okay. Uh, when it comes to vehicle recycling, no, end of the life, I think uh, Veolia is in a big way. You know, I think 97% of the vehicle can be recycled is what one of the statements said. So, what kind of uh, support Veolia in India can offer to Indian vehicle manufacturers? So, it is a little early for us to talk about it. For India, like you rightly said, one of the groups within Veolia are experts in that space and they have been doing such type of services globally. We have to evaluate how we can do similar service in India based on the specific needs. Mm -hmm. Again, like I said, that is a separate mm -hmm. uh, division part of the Veolia which handles that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to comment on that. Okay. Okay. Uh, after sales service is a very important aspect of any uh, industrial product that is okay. and this is very sensitive because uh, each customer will be 
working on their sustainability you know roadmap solutions like for example the remote diagnostics that's been talked about by the mission tool and registers do you have such uh, you know uh, initiatives yes so when it comes to providing our technology and solutions there are two parts the first one is we basically supply our products and our oems and our customers install them within their larger mm-hmm. facility mm-hmm. the second piece is that we do end to end project we design the entire flow sheet we bring all the equipment we install and commission and make sure that we ensure that the equipment and facility is operational to the customer expectations in both the cases mm-hmm. we offer oem services okay. operation and maintenance services today we have more than 38 sites in india where we operate our oem services our teams are there on ground making sure that the facility is running as per the expectations of the customer we check the water quality we check the input water and we check the output quality of the water so we have entire capability exist on site you talked about uh, you know preventive maintenance yeah. you talked about remote monitoring and diagnostics yes we do have several digital solutions that can help us to understand the condition of the membranes mm-hmm. which are very important membrane is the heart of the solution that we provide mm-hmm. we also get the data in terms of how is the water feed quality we also get the data on how is the water output quality the membrane condition and several other information this information we use to diagnosis in terms of what is happening mm-hmm. replacements of the membranes can be defined based on the actual data versus historical Uh, practices mm-hmm. similarly we are providing even more solution that can enable us to improve availability and reliability of these tech products that we supply to the customer so we are big into the digital solutions and our goal is to improve the throughput productivity and efficiency for our customer can you tell us a little bit about your customers in india especially in the automotive space yeah in the automotive space we have supplied our products Uh, such as mbr uh, i talked about just now to several uh, customers for example toyota in their manufacturing plant near uh, near bangalore we supplied our mbr mbr solutions uh, customer like kia in their uh, factory near bangalore uh, we supplied to other automotive industry like ford mm-hmm. uh, ashok leyland and few other places where our products have been supplied for water treatment plants so we have engaged with many of these players and uh, our uh, relationship has been very good um, india is a very cost conscious market you know do you have any uh, india specific solutions for the the customers here yeah sure first of all uh, we should not consider water as a free okay water is a uh, any other raw material to a factory and it is cost you money and the water is going to become expensive from time to time because of the situation where we are in a country where the water resources are limited and we are our consumption rate is very high if if you treat the water as a raw material you automatically find solutions to increase your reuse and decrease your dependency on the fresh water i see a huge opportunity for industries to adapt new technologies to improve their water recycle water reuse and bring down their dependency on the fresh water which is not only going to solve their current solution current problem but long term solutions mm-hmm. and which in turn can help the municipalities and uh, families and other uh, places where fresh water can be supplied in a best possible way okay very interesting thank you so much uh, mr banagosi for participating in the conversation thank you so much pleasure talking to you Thank you.